Hi everyone, welcome back to another video in the Web Security Academy series. In today's video, we'll be covering lab number 13 in the Broken Access Control module titled Referrer-Based Access Control. All right, let's get started. This lab controls access to certain admin functionality based on the referrer header. You can familiarize yourself with the admin panel by logging in using the credentials and they gave us the credential for the administrator user. To solve the lab, log in using the credentials of the regular user and exploit the flawed access controls to promote yourself to become an administrator. So the target goal over here is to exploit the broken access control vulnerability, which depends on access control using the referrer header and then promote our own user to an administrator user. All right, let's access the lab. Now notice over here that we're using the built-in browser for Burp. And so all my requests are already going through Burp. All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to log in as the administrator user and learn how the functionality functions. So we go to admin panel and the idea is to upgrade a user over here just to learn how it works. Um, we're going to choose Carlos because in order to complete the exercise, we need to upgrade our own regular user. And we don't want to do that right now. We want to do that through the broken access control vulnerability. So let's click on upgrade user. And it performs this request right over here. So let's send this request to repeater. And then you could see the user is right now an admin. So in repeater, you could see it's a get request. It takes in certain parameters to so the name of the user and then the action to perform, whether that's to downgrade a user or upgrade a user. And that's essentially it. That's all it does. So now let's go to my account, log out, and log in with our regular credentials and see if we could exploit this vulnerability. So click on my account again and then log in with the regular credentials. Password was Peter, hit login. And then we're gonna click on, right click and then click on inspect and then application to obtain the cookie of the regular user. All right, so this was the session cookie of the administrator user. I'm going to replace it with the regular user session cookie. So now it's as if we're performing the request as this user over here. Um, the next thing that I want to do is upgrade um, our user instead of the Carlos user and uh, determine if I'm allowed to do that. Now, before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this refer header and remove it and run the request. So if you hit send over here, you could see it's unauthorized. So it doesn't allow the regular user to upgrade himself to an admin user. However, if I put back the referrer header, which says that this came from the slash admin endpoint, which is only accessible by administrator users and hit send, you get a 302, you follow redirection, and here we go, it says, congratulations, you solved the lab. What that means is that the application is using the referrer header in order to perform access control decisions, which is completely wrong because the referrer header is client controllable. And so as you saw, we were able to change it and then bypass access control rules and promote ourselves to an admin user. And the way we did that is essentially just tell the application that we're actually coming from the slash admin endpoint, which is technically an administrator's directory and only the administrator has access to it. So now if we click anywhere, you could see now we have access to the admin panel because we're an administrator. All right, so we successfully completed the exercise by manually exploiting the broken access control vulnerability. Now let's script it in Python. If you would like to see a detailed version of the video where we first exploit the vulnerability manually and then script it in Python, check out the video linked on the screen. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out my course if you're interested in seeing more videos like this one. Thank you and see you in the next video.